Okay, so I'm gonna try and walk you through the whole process of getting you set up. So I'm on a Mac M1 computer, and we're gonna do this via the Mac, obviously the Mac system. Now I'm sure Exus will do a proper tutorial, but I just wanna show you this as it currently is and kind of get you onto the system to show you how that works. Important note though, this is very much a 0.1 release or a, a, an open beta, whatever you wanna call it. This is the very first release of Bison Relay it will improve, it will change dramatically over the next few weeks, months and years. So pretty much this video will be out of date very, very quickly. But for those that are curious and want to see uh, the process, I thought I'd just put this together and just kind of walk you through it. So here I am on the bisonrelay.org. From here, you can obviously read the documents and there's some, there's some good documents and some good notes and you should probably go through that. I'm just gonna head on over to the downloads page, which takes me to GitHub. Now the current version is this version 0.11. So they've already patched this. Um, it's only been out for a day. Now, the one that we're gonna look at for the Mac system is this one at the top that says Darwin. Okay, it's a 64-bit system. So let's click on this and that will go to my downloads folder. Now, whilst that's downloading, the one thing that I always do or I need to do is open up the system preferences and then head on over to the security and privacy section. Because this particular download isn't recognized by the Mac system, it will chuck up a couple of little issues. What first means it will say that you can't actually download it. So let me show you that now. So I click on this, here it is here. So I can, I can open it straight away. However, this isn't an executable. So it will, it actually needs to sit somewhere. So all I do is just put it on the desktop um, and that will be the application that I'm gonna open for future reference. And let's just make sure I can see that as well. So if I double click, the first thing it will say to me is you can't open this. It, um, Apple doesn't recognize it. So I just press OK. And then when I head back to my security panel, you'll see I get this little warning. Now only accept this if you're happy with it. Obviously, if you're not happy with it, you shouldn't accept this. And it is a public beta. So it is version 1.0.1. 1. Um, so you know, this is very much at your own risk at this point. I've used this on a different computer, so I'm pretty happy. So I'm just gonna press open anyway, and then it will say, yeah, it'll give me a message. And I just need to say, yep, yeah, let's open this. Once I've done that, I can close this window and that's absolutely fine. And you'll notice that straight away, the Bison app opens. It puts me into setup mode. And then in future reference, I'm just gonna use this um, downloadable just to open each, each time then, okay? Let's just go full screen on this. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see my desktop. So the first thing you have to do is create a password. Everything I'm about to do now, what I would say to you guys is write it down on paper, make a note of it, take screenshots, whatever, whatever best way you're gonna remember it. This, if you lose the seed, if you lose your password, no one else is backing this stuff up, okay? This is all on your all on your system. It's, it's a social network, it's an, it's an internet framework. So this is gonna be an internet framework that's basically sitting on your computer. Nobody else is taking responsibility for you. So this is where the big difference comes. Using Bison Relay is not like the internet. You know, basically you're in charge of everything and that includes making sure that you've backed up all of your seed and your, your password. So I'm just gonna type in a password and then I just need to confirm it. Okay, once you're happy, you just press to create the wallet. On this next seat, on this next page, it will ask you to back up your seed and write your seed down so you don't lose it. Um, this is really important. This is your whole wallet. At the moment, there is no restore seed. So at the moment, you won't see an import seed and that's coming in the next couple of weeks. So once again, this is, this is an early release. This will always be for your wallet. So you do need to make sure you back it up. So once you've written down your seed, once you've written down your password and you're, you're happy with that, you can just say, yep, I've copied the, the seed and you can press okay. Then it'll ask you which server would you like to connect to. And the server just relays the message. Bison Relay is end-to-end -end encrypted and nothing sits on a server, okay? So this is one of the interesting factors, which in future months um, we'll, we'll get into. But for now, we're just gonna connect to the one and only server. So I'm just gonna press connect. Now this part will take probably best part of 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast um, your system is. Because what it's doing is it's it's, synchronizing with the lightning network the decred lightning network so it does take a little bit of time um so be patient with this bit um last time i did this on my other computer it, it took about 10 minutes we're just coming to the end now then so that's taken about five minutes so far just less than five minutes actually it was actually quite quick 
Okay, so it has stalled on 99% for a little bit of time. It's still doing some other stuff in the background. So we just need to be a little bit patient. So when it does get to this 99.99%, just be a little bit more patient. It is still doing stuff in the background. Okay, and there we go. So you can, you can be a little bit patient on that one. Um, it did take a little bit of time. So the next thing we need to do is we need to populate our wallet. And this is our lightning, a decred lightning wallet, a lightning network wallet. So we need to populate it with at least 0 0.1 DCR. What they give me here is a receive address. So what I do is I'll just copy this. Okay, it tells me it's copied. Head on over to my decred wallet. And then what I can say here is, okay, how much, and I'm, I'm on the tab that says on-chain transactions. This is, this is my decrediton wallet. And I'm on the send tab and I've got my default setting here. Now you can see I've got 0 0.2 DCR and the amount that I want to send is 0 0.1 DCR and I want to send it to that address. So I can just press this paste button and that will paste it in. So once you're happy, you just press send. You have to put in your password here and then we can confirm the transaction. It will give me this warning to make sure that I want to send it. So I just press accept and then just wait a couple of seconds. And then it will give me a little notification just telling me it's all going through. And there we go. And hopefully now we can see that the unconfirmed amount is 0 0.1. It might be a good idea at this point just to wait until it's confirmed amount. Because everything's on chain, you, you just kind of want to make sure everything goes through. Now, because it still needs to confirm, you might not be able to set up your inbound and outbound, and outbound channels. So all I'm going to do now, and once again, I'll pause it here, but I'm just going to wait for this to say confirmed, okay? So currently this is unconfirmed. I'm just going to wait for it to say confirmed. This can take probably up to five, ten minutes. Okay, so it's just moved on to the next page and where we're going to set up our inbound and outbound wallets. And you can see that my balance is now populated. And it was really important that we waited um, for that to complete. So that did take probably best part of two or three minutes, although depending on the the blockchain it can take a little longer of course we're going to sort out our our channels so with this amount here i'm going to populate an inbound and outbound channel with 0 0.05 or i can probably go 0 0.04 so i'm just going to type here 0 0.04 and then i'm going to request the outbound channel just wait for the message to come up so now we're in a pending state. Um, so that took a little longer than I expected. We just need to wait for this to come out of pending before um, it goes any further. So we managed to get that working. That took probably about five minutes. When you open up a channel, that's the on-chain part. So that channel's been opened up on-chain. And now everything that we do after this point is actually the off-chain stuff or the Lightning Network stuff. The next thing is we need to set up the inbound channel. So when that finished, it came straight onto this tab. Um, so now let's just populate um, some amount into our inbound. And you do need inbound in order to receive tips and things like that. So let's say 0 0.01, and then we can request this channel. Then it asks us to confirm the amount, and we're gonna say, yep. Yeah. And once again, we're just going to wait. We're going to wait for it to do its thing and then we're going to move on. Okay, so you can see that there is another pending channel and that was a lot quicker that time. So now here we are, we're in our lightning um, management area. So there's just one more thing that you're probably going to want to do and that's kind of get some communications sorted. This bit takes a little bit of time to do and this will also get streamlined in a, in a future release. So I've just had my other account send me an invite. So in my other account, I generated an in invite here and I've just sent it over to myself. So in order to bring that in, I can just say, right, let's load that invite. And over on my desktop, um, I've got this invite bin here. So if I say choose, and then I can accept. So this is from me, Phoenix Green, and I can accept. Okay, after restarting, I've, I've managed to kind of get that working. So if I head on over to chat now. So the last test, then let's have a quick talk with Phoenix, which is myself, of course. So let's just say, hi, Phoenix. And let's send that message out. So once we get the tick, we can see that Phoenix has received the message and let's see if they'll reply back to us. So I'll just move over to my other computer for a sec. Okay, so the message is coming through now. 
and there we go um it's a, it's a bit weird i might need to change my my username actually to uh decred society otherwise it's going to be two phoenixes um so that's the first look hopefully that was okay well i'll go into more of the settings in in the next video but but once again that was just to kind of get you set up to show you how the process is it you know this is very much a first release i suspect a lot of those glitches that i've just experienced will be disappearing in the next week or so so don't worry too much if you do get any problems head on over to the matrix chat and they'll they'll get you set up